on everybody this is your man mr bms pounded on the chest twice salute and let's get into it i hope that you've had a blessed week i've had a blessed week any day above the ground is a great one for me and listen um, I want to thank everybody who continuously they, they watch these videos and, and feel as though it is an asset to their life and that it helps them. So I feed off of that energy and you know I'm going to keep giving this positive energy out and you keep giving me that positive feedback and we're going to do this thing together. I'm not only going to help lead you but I'm going to walk with you. That's what a true leader does. And listen, um, someone reached out to me and they asked, they, they made a request to do a video in regards to invisible illnesses. And I think that's, that was a powerful request. So I'm going to do everything that I can to, to speak on this and, and pray that it helps you out. So let me ask you a question. You know what? I'm not going to ask you a question. You know, there are some people that, that you see on a daily basis. You see their face. You never even talk to them, but you never realize that they're going through something. Some people are struggling with depression. Somebody every day they're in pain and you don't, you don't understand the magnitude of what they're going through. Uh, somebody is, contemplating whether or not they're going to commit suicide after work or after school or whatnot because they're hurting so bad and you know these people right now are dealing with what invisible illnesses that are are, are triggered from things that they've that's happened in their past or just something that they're born with and i'm going to tell you right now for all of you who say money solves everything it does not solve everything matter of fact i saw a video yesterday of a lady who was living in the lap of luxury the cars the houses the money and everything you know she said i had all of these things but something on the inside there was a hole on the inside why because i was raped when i was three i was molested between the time i was three and 13 and i was raped at a party so i always felt like there was something missing inside of me you know that that held me back from being the best that i could be even though she was living in the lap of luxury so that whole money solves everything it doesn't listen I'm not going to give you information that I myself have not been through. All right. So I'm going to give you an example of, of something. And there's there's two sides to this. All right. And I've been on both sides of it. And I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, some of you have been on this, have been on both the side on both sides. And you're currently you're still there when you're up, when you're by yourself. Listen, that is an opportunity for the enemy to creep in at that moment your mind is a battlefield right how many times have you been have you been upset you've been hurt and you said to yourself i'm gonna be a negative person i'm gonna be disrespectful i'm gonna be petty anybody who gets in my way i'm gonna be as rude as i can i'm not this nice person that i used to be and i'm so sick and tired of it that i hit the nail on the head some people are, are going through that right now i've been through that right now and i'm telling you that that's not the way to go that's not the way to go. And I need you to, to watch this whole video because I'm getting ready to flip it on you. And I'm going to show you something. There's also a time where if you're going through something and you need to cry and let it out, make sure you cry and give it to God because he said, I'll, I'll take care of your problems. Cast it upon my shoulders. I got you. Go ahead and cry it out. Get it all out of your system. And then the next day you wake up. It's a new day. It's all out of your system and you're ready to attack today and be a better person. If you don't believe me, look at me. I'm prime example. I've been on both sides. There are some things that I still deal with, but I'm, I'm willing to step into the ring and fight and, and be the best that I can be because I have a family and I'm sure that you have a family. Listen to me. If you don't hear this very often, I'm telling you right now, you are worth it. You are worth it. If you're watching this on your phone, I want you to walk to a mirror and I want you to say, I am worth it. And you keep telling yourself that you are worth it. All right. The enemy has no place in your life. You are powerful than what you give yourself credit for. You understand me? You just give it to God, man. So many people out here say that there is no God. If there was a God, then why was I raped? Let me explain something to you real quick. God was there. What if God allowed you to go through this to be an asset to somebody else's life? What if your story is a, is a testimony, is a positive testimony for somebody else? Your pain actually helped thousands of people recover from their pain. You got to get out of this whole thing where you know that God is exist, that, that God exists. But if something goes wrong with you, you can't blame him. You got to stop that. So my question to you is, what is your relationship like? He hears you. He knows what you're going through. And believe me, that person that hurt you, they're going to feel it. 
They're going to feel it. You don't blame God for anything. He's going to restore everything that's been taken from you. I've had people who barely know me confide in me their situation. And I will never give that information out because they saw fit. They saw something in me and they trusted me to not tell anybody. And I appreciate that. So I'm going to do what I can to help them. And hopefully this video helps you. So folks, go out there and be your best. Tell yourself you're worth it. Tell yourself all day that you're worth it. Who cares who's around you? You're worth it. Be the best that you can be. This is your man, Mr. BMS, pounded on chest twice. Salute. You have a blessed day.